Once I got more space, the person was, they got stronger. We've been talking about this for so long. Now, I want you to imagine this, okay? So I'm gonna take a shoulder joint and I'm gonna artificially just restrict its workspace. So if, this is a weird picture, but if we're in a bird's eye view, let's say this is the humerus, and let's say that the shoulder joint is shaped like this. So in other words, a normal shoulder would look more like this and they have a lot of capsular space. And because they have a lot of capsular space, it shows up as a lot of workspace. Does everyone understand what I mean? Because when you move this shoulder, there are various areas to move into. You have degrees of freedom. Because I can move into all of these areas, I also have access to stimulating and training the tissue around the entire shoulder. So because I have workspace, I have access to all of that tissue. On this shoulder, because the workspace is restricted, anywhere you move, this arm can only go down into there or up into here. It doesn't matter what you do. If I bench press and this is my shoulder, my shoulder can only move down into there, up into there. If I overhead press, it can only move down into there, up into there. If I do this rotational stuff, it can only move down and up, 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 down and up. So what tissue do you have access to? This stuff and maybe this stuff. Every time you move your shoulder, guess what you're stressing? This stuff and this stuff. So eventually, one of two things happens in this tissue. Number one, you've adapted it as much as it's going to adapt, so you're going to hit a plateau. I can only bench this much, I can't beat my bench. Or number two, because you're always overstressing this and this, you're just gonna damage the tissue because it can't handle the stress. If you open up the, 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 the capsule, then you open up access to all of these tissues. So let's say all you wanna do is pack on more mass. You still need more workspace to access more tissue. And if you can access more tissue, you can stimulate more tissue to add more stuff. But if you don't have access to the tissue, you don't have access to the tissue. Does that make sense? You know sometimes people are like, I go to do a pull up and I pull with my lap, but I can't engage my, I just, it doesn't feel the same. Have you ever heard people say that? I pull here, I can feel everything. I pull here, it just feels weird. And everyone, oh, it must be a neurological problem. It must be the nerves aren't firing. Let me tell you something right now. Your nerves are smart. Your nervous system is the most complicated thing that humanity has ever discovered. Your brain knows what to do. Trust me. You don't have to tinker with it to tell it what to do. You just got to give it good stuff to work with. If you give it good stuff, your brain figures it out. If you give me a good hip that internally actually rotates is very unrestricted and has good workspace, your glute is not going to inhibit itself. It's going to inhibit when your hip doesn't work properly because of the neurology that I explained. Okay? But even if your goal is to add more stuff, even if your goal is to take that person and give them access to their glute, it's not going to work with neurological trickery. It's probably because they can't access the tissue. And they can't access the tissue because your workspace is dictated by your capsular space. And if your capsular space is restricted, it tells you what you have access to. And you can't fight your way through that. 